Hello there, everyone. Ash and Flash here. Welcome on into uh, an insane day. Uh, on top of yesterday, the confirmation of LEGO products with the listing being on shop at home for the Cuddle Team leader figure. Well, we got to see her in-game along with so many other skins during this live event. I just, I miss Fortnite live events so, so much. So I'm so happy about this. So if you want, you know, you remember, use code Ash and Flash for picking up the Chapter 5 Battle Pass, anything LEGO related that they wind up selling. But anyways, enough self-promotion. Let's talk about what is actually happening. Well, there was a trailer that dropped right after recording all this, and it's a little snippet of the Bright Bomber skin picking up a brick and turning into the Lego version of herself. And they've since rolled out a bunch of social media, Lego Fortnite, Twitter, Instagram, sorry, X, Instagram, YouTube. And yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like this is a full fledged thing. And the announcement says that this will be dropping on December the 7th. Very, very soon. I've got a bit of a description here of what the game mode will be. So this game mode is being called a survival crafting adventure and it is the first of a long term relationship with Lego and Epic Games and Fortnite. But uh, this looks so, so crazy. There are so many skins here that I just cannot believe. I'll let you guys watch my reaction. I'm here with my friend Penn Plays and CM Forsai. You can check them out linked down below or I guess he's forced dead now. Anyways, let's watch my reaction to the live event. Oh, Give me the, the Lego. Lego. Oh, llama. There it is. Bro, look at it. Come on. <laughs> go in, go in, go in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're lagging. Here we go. Oh. I'm, I'm hey, it's you, Pen. <laughs> oh, it's all three of us. Oh, it's that rando. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah! Yes! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness, 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 oh my goodness. Focus! It's tomato head! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's happening, it's happening, it's happening! It's the Dirtburger! Oh god, it's Eevee! Oh, it's Sky! It's Midas! Oh my goodness! Tomato head! Oh my goodness! Oh, Calamity! Fist <laughs> Don't take us out! Please. No, keep us here! Let us keep flying! Show me more Lego! Literally, literally that video of like, Fortnite in one week or whatever. Oh my goodness! It's so pretty. Llama! Llama! Look at that! Oh, DJ Llama! Characters. <laughs> you get that shape, eh? <gasps> Bright Bomber! Cuddle Team! Gingy! Oh my goodness. Whoa. What's that? Scary monster. Huh. I'm glad it's like actual grass and rock. I think all Lego would have been a little too destroyed. No, don't take us away! That was, oh my goodness. Don't take us away! That was great. Take me back! Anyway, so yeah, that was uh, the Lego section. I couldn't believe it. Uh, like, just seeing all that again, it, it's so surreal to me. It was only afterwards that I saw that my favorite skin that I have tried to buy every merch for, Wildcard, was in there as well. Wildcard, Wildcard, Wildcard! Oh my goodness! And of course, there's all the default skins using a bunch of different hair pieces from Overwatch to just like, oh my goodness, everything. It's just crazy to see default skins here officially being in the game. Just so surreal. So first up, of course, we saw the tomato head figure there. It's a brand new headpiece there. Really exciting. Uh, I just, again, one of those ones that I drew so long ago that I can't believe is here. We have here one of the Neon Glow skins, uh, just digging around in the sand. We have Mesmer here, and that's a new hood piece there. Really cool, but I love that outfit. It's so colorful with green and all that. So great to see. We have Eevee there, which just lends herself so darn well to Lego form. Of course, we have the Durburger skin, which is just insane to see here. Official name, of course, the Beef Boss skin. In the back, I'm pretty sure that the skin there at the back of the beach is the skin fade. I'm just going off of the skin color and the purple hair. Skies here, which is just, look at all the printing and dual molding that new headpiece. Oh, so cool. Midas as well just looks 
amazing. The James Gordon hair there. Oh, oh my goodness. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the skin called Harlow, given the pink skin. But I don't know about that mask headpiece there being used for that. You can see again Calamity there. She's uh, brushing away these crab things. She also appears in like some of the concept art and the other promotional images. Fish sticks, of course, was there. And there's this other image that was posted. And it's a really high quality image of fish stick, which just looks amazing with that giant headpiece. Again, just a Fortnite icon here in Lego form. The Rex skin appears briefly in the event, but thanks to the promo art, we get a really good look at this skin. Again, again, I'm going to keep saying that these icons, they're picking really good choices here to show off and look at the colors and everything, the giant headpiece. It is just insane to see Rex here in Lego form. We see here on the ridge a couple of characters. We, of course, have Salone in her white outfit, DJ Yonder, Beef Boss again, and Drift there with a new hood and earpiece although storm's hair from the marvel series 2 of course would work so well for him we have raptor here which is so cool to see oh my goodness like that's such a classic skin and then obviously next to him we have bright bomber and i just want to stop here for a second and just talk about her because she's so beyond important to me she was the first ever minifigure that i ever drew 3d with the help of my friend cm4 size so it's just all coming full circle here and to see them using that hairpiece as the base the same one that i did adding on the goggles it's it's just a feeling that i i just can't really put into words or really wrap my mind around that after all these years she's here from the deep freeze bundle i think that's what that is given that it's the same like mask piece that we saw before there's a couple skins here I'm not sure who exactly they are, but we have, of course, Cuddle Team, which has printing in the back there for the buttons. We saw, of course, that figure. I think this is the Burnout skin in behind in this little gazebo section. There's also some teal here. I'm not sure who this is. I think I see black hands and just the shape of it reminds me of Envoy, but it could be someone else sort of teal turquoise like maybe Zig. That'd be really great, but uh, I don't know. Of course, Wild Card here, which love that so so much we have aura there leading the merry marauder Jinji. clearly he's not finished yet we have charlotte hiding behind this sheep here there's some key art here that of course features peely running forward new headpiece there of course we're gonna get a peely skin and here's spark plug in the back i'm pretty sure i think this skin is crystal you can see in the back there we've got the mission specialist we have Power Court up here in the top, and this is really confusing to me. I don't know who this is. My friend Spoose, who's a Fortnite expert, has been helping me figure out everything, and he doesn't know who this is. So it seems like maybe it's an original skin from LEGO and Fortnite. Maybe it's one of the ones that you get when you get the game. I I'm not too sure, but we'll have to wait and see. Maybe that's a you know something for Chapter 5. Kyra. I think this is Swamp Stalker. That's quite, I don't know, an obscure skin. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And here's Bullseye up here in the tower, I'm pretty sure. There's also a couple other skins, like in this courtyard section that I can't quite make out. There's some figures going up to the castle. I know that I'm one of them wild card, but the rest I'm not too sure. So let me know down below if you figure out any of these. But in terms of the rest of the stuff that we've seen here, I mean, we of course saw the Lego Llama. We saw the uh, Crash Dream Ship. So I'm not sure if like other Lego sets and themes are going to be a part of this. I don't know, we saw the building mechanics, there's just so much here. So we haven't seen the battle bus, we know that is happening, they talked about that at some convention or presentation, but we do actually see a Lego supply drop, which is really cool. I think that would make an excellent small set. Which is basically why I'm going through all this, you know? I think that you can't look at this and go, yeah, they're not gonna do sets. Like, it's just, it's so clear cut to me that it's gonna happen there's just no way they're creating all of these different things for this game capitalizing this advertising it on shop at home and they're gonna go mm, we're just gonna do digital stuff it's just not gonna happen and we've seen here everyone's like oh guns does that mean we're getting guns lego guns when lego has done guns for i don't know how long years and years and years it's just that the guns in the sets or products aren't going to be modern guns if they want they just all i've said this for years when i've been saying fortnite's gonna happen that you could have pickaxes everyone's got colorful pickaxes you know there's other weapons that aren't modern weapons there's made up weapons all these different things they could do so i think that just the two of them you look at all the collabs lego's done the collabs that fortnite have done 
there's just such a melding mesh overlap there that just works so well. I'm so excited for the future of this. So subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future Lego Fortnite news updates. We will be, of course, talking about it later on this week when it does drop. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.